fulfill your destiny. Okay. Well. Thoughts. Pacing was better. The fights were much better. Yeah. That was Boba Fett that we knew. Yeah. I... I don't know, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. I wish we hadn't... I don't know. I feel like they separated the first episode. It was like it cut back and forth multiple times. Mm -hmm. So it was weird that this time... They only one, did a one. little bit of present, and then they did a lot that of past. past. And that's, As opposed to cutting it up. That's why I'm thinking that the past is going to be more significant into the future. Yeah. Because the, 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 the this tribe in particular, I feel like, is going to be way more important for when Boba then has to fight the mayor or whatever. You know, whoever the big bad is. Like, he is going to use this tribe or ask this tribe for help, and they're going to be like, of course. Yeah. Because you helped us, or you're important to us. Like, let's help you. Um, that's the only thing I could really think of. Um, there, I'm pretty sure there were skins that used speeder bikes in, Man in the Mandalorian. When? Oh, actually, no, it was a Bantha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When Mando, and what's, was it Mando in the May, or the, the, whatever that guy is, the who had Boba's armor? Yeah. They meet Tuscans in the desert, I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm sure they were on Banthas. Banthas, though. yeah. I can't, I can't remember. But, but that, that's the only significance I see where this could be going. Pacing was good, better, much better than the first. Um, we're playing a, a lot of catch up right now. Yeah. You know, I, I feel, I kind of feel like that we're running a race to just kind of, I don't know, move the, move the present slightly forward and then move the past like 10 times faster Yeah. to tell a story or like for both of them to collide at some point to then the story kind of like interlock and makes sense um or, i don't know i i think it was better i do agree that it was better but wasn't oh no i don't know it, it didn't make you know what i think a large part of it is i think this is the first time we've really seen the star wars story be so much in the past and the present oh uh, you bring up a good point yeah. and i think that's something that's new to star wars and so they haven't quite figured out how they want to do it in the universe yet because i think you know i i think about shows like is this technically called like well it's the book of boba right right the book of boba i guess that ref i mean you could only write a book if you've done it yeah but like deal like because i think of shows like you know, Arrow, mm -hmm. where the story is told in two parts. The story is told in the past That's and in the present, point. and they're both moving forward at the same time. And then, you know, there's also shows like like Adam Horowitz, the writer, he does like Once Upon a Time and Lost. Yep. And like both of those stories are all <clears throat> told half in the past, half in the present, and that they move, you know? And I feel like this show is trying to accomplish two things at the same time. You know, they're trying to talk about what happened to Boba after the Sarlacc pit and how did he get to, you know, where he is on Tatooine. But then they're also trying to tell Tatooine. And I feel like that's a lot to take on. Yeah. Because I feel like they had the imagery of him sitting on the throne at the end of The Mandalorian and they wanted to move forward with that. But they also wanted to set up the past. And I feel like if they hadn't done that and they had just started in the past, told their story through the past like they wanted to, yeah. it would make sense more. I just feel like the cutting back and forth is ruining the story a little bit. Because they're not doing it incredibly well so far. Yeah, I, I think I I think I agree with you there. 
Yeah, it just, I don't know, I don't know the, like, what, I, 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 the only goal I could see where this is going is Tuskens are, are, are coming, are going to line up with a big battle. Like, that's the only yeah. ending I see possible, and yeah, I don't, I, I, I agree that I don't like where, it, like, the splitting, but they're not even, uh, as we were saying earlier, they're not splitting 50, oh, thanks. They're not splitting. He keeps doing that. I'm not sure. Yeah, why. it's not splitting fifty fifty. You know, it's yeah. splitting. It's splitting like thirty seventy. Yeah, and even each episode, the split is different. Different. Yeah, like what? I guess for me, it's also tricky because we don't know what the goal is. You know, like we don't know where the goal of a storyline is, and we're only yeah. two episodes in before an eight season, an ep- eight episode, episode season. season. Yeah. We should kind of know, because, you know, like, with the Mandalorian, the goal was... The kid, the child, right away. Right. It was, like, literally episode one with... He went, he found the child, and then he was supposed to bring it back. Yeah. And he had a bunch of side trips and stuff, but we knew the overarching goal of the series was something was going to happen with Baby Yoda. He was either going to turn him in, or he was going to keep him and then face the consequences, which yeah. he ended up doing. Season two, we knew the goal was find his Jedi Master. You know? Yeah. And then that... Ended up maybe being accomplished. Spoilers, I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. It's been out for two years. Watch it already. Yeah. If you're watching this video and you haven't seen Mandalorian season two all the way through, we gotta talk. Yeah. Um. So I yeah, it's weird because I don't know where it's supposed to go. Yeah, I don't. It's a bad batch. They set up the story really fast. It was like okay, here we are. Order sixty six. Yeah. Where do we fit into it? Like that was the. But here it's like. The, the really are we hasn't just been... watching the rise and fall? Like, are we just watching him come to power? Yeah. Because if it was just him coming to power, we wouldn't need this much background info. No. Because literally, they could have shown us one episode where it's like, hey, I'm friends with the Tusken Raiders. And then that was, you know? Yeah. Like, there's a reason they're showing us both parts, but they haven't... They haven't told us what the goal is. Right. Or what... what... They haven't really even hinted what the goal was, even in the first episode with, oh, the mayor's going yeah. to pay you a visit or whatever. Um, here's his tribute and some advice. Like, that, like still, that didn't really yeah. give us a path to... And now it's kind of like, down. you know, there's the mystery of like, oh, who is the night wind? Who sent them after Boba? But then it's, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, it's not pretty obvious because nothing's ever obvious in Star Wars, but I feel like it's going to be the huts. We sent him yeah. last night, the Night Wind. But at the same time, it's like they gave us all of this build up to the huts and the Night Wind and the big mystery, and then they just sent us into the past. Past, yeah. So now they're going to bring up the Night Wind again at the beginning of the next episode. And I'm just going to be like, I don't care though, because I haven't seen them active in yeah. two episodes now. I mean, so like the, the thing I think of is uh, in Mandalorian, when they do the, the flashbacks of the clone wars with um mando being in the that being in that right. hole or whatever like yes it was in the past but the, what they did is they like slow like they brought it out slowly and they brought it out in like chunks to process it yeah but this is almost like here's a freaking pie like yeah that digests the past and so then we can give you like a little piece of the pie uh, of another pie for you to digest for the yeah. present where like mando was just like oh like here here's a treat like here's a little bit of like what mando's been through I mean, it was a, a proper flashback, flashback. Yeah. you know like in a video game where there's like cut scenes yeah. and it's you know fast and you get the information you need and then you move on that's a flashback i feel like this isn't as much a flashback as it's two parallel you know two stories that are running yeah one just happens to be set in the past, past. yeah I agree. so Overall, what would you rate it? Mm. Feel like we're gonna give it the same number. I'm thinking of six point five or a seven. I was gonna say seven. Yeah. Yeah. This this wasn't. Which almost feels too high now. Like I want to give this one six. Six. Yeah. And give the last one five. No, but. No, we'll just that's why I'm gonna give it a slightly higher. I'll do a six point five. I'm just worried they're they're but. gonna do the thing that they did in Bad Batch, where they're gonna have so much random crap yeah. in the you know, and then it's not gonna pick up until episode six, six or seven, and then I, they're I, gonna have two really solid episodes at the end. And overall, I'm gonna be like, cool, I'll watch next season because the last two episodes were really good. 
Yeah. I mean, they even did that with Mandalorian season two, too, though. Yeah, there was a couple there was a episodes, whole bunch a, lot of filler. Of, a lot of fillers and stuff like that, but. And I know. No, I just... But even though there was a lot of fillers in the Mandalorian, they they did a really good job of being like, okay, here's main plot. Like, here's a filler, or here's a uh, journey. Mm. Here's another main story point. Here's some more journey. And then here's another, here's the last story, main story point. Um, where this, this, there's no, I, I can't tell the difference what's main story and what isn't. Yeah. You know, if the book, if the book of Boba was supposed to be everything that's happened in the past, then like, we'll be, like, let's, let's figure that out. Like, go in detail about what's happened in the past. But if we're setting Boba Fett up for the future and what Mando could possibly be reuniting with him to do like another job one day. And let's like, continue with that. Could, like, show the struggle of Boba going through the huts, going through all these other clans or whatever, um, syndicates and stuff to like show how difficult it is to you know raise a family. Um, I just I don't see that happening right now. I catch you guys next time. We'll try to do every episode from this point forward um, to kind of see how this goes and we're enjoying this this was fun yeah. so and if enough people enjoy this then we'll go back to theories and stuff kind Wait, of we, moving forward yeah we got Obi a ton of those so ahsoka we got lots of stuff coming up yeah. so all right thank you guys for watching peace may the force be with you always